morning so it's about 15 minutes after sunrise and we are at North Berwick never been here before as you can see absolutely wonderful you've got these steps leading into a small um, I call it a patio area but it's not and an absolutely gorgeous the mooring post there you've got a lovely island in the background you've got some absolutely amazing rock formations there leading to uh, what could be a lifeguard lookout tower the rest of it's a mixture of awfulness and beautifulness so it's been the obvious lovely long exposures mainly from the same spot leading out towards the island although the island will be removed in post-processing to some square formats of just the yellow marker the sky is looking or the sky is getting with me the sky is getting much, much better. We may even get a bit of colour in the sky if we're lucky. I may also come up here and do a photograph of the centre area of that. As you can see, some lovely colour in the background. So it has been long exposure city. I mean, look at that. I may do a few short exposures as well, especially with the waves cascading around the base of the post. Yeah, I hoped to do some star trails at Dunbar yesterday and the sky was threatening to be absolutely crystal clear and the sky itself was but the, the horizon had a bank of clouds and the photograph I was going to do is on the beach with the, 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 the bridge to nowhere and Polaris but with the bank of cloud being on the horizon, it just did not work. That is absolutely awesome. It's a very strange thing. You've got all the beauty of the islands over there, the islands over there. You've got the town. You've got the lovely mooring harbour with the boats in. And we're taking photographs of a chunk of metal If you do come here, one of the posts, oh, a bit of a wobble, one of the posts, probably around, yeah, you may be able to see it now, probably that one there or that one there, is wobbling. And once you see that wobble, you can't unsee it. What it needs is something to go down at some point and probably just chuck a coin or two at the base, see where it's, to stabilise it a little bit. Yeah, Lynn's gone over that way. There's a small harbour pool that you can photograph. Let's have a walk up here. You can hear the fishing boats in the background. There's a small fair here at the moment. Yeah, I 
can hear the generator in the background. Oh, this is, this is, I'm going to come up here again in a, a couple of weeks, I think. Absolutely spectacular. Coming here, if the tide's a little more ferocious, shall we say, will be a lot different because at the moment it's very, very calm, which works fairly well for long exposures. Oh, you can feel the history. I've got some benches here which have got a lot of character, and they've got more oh, remnants of glasses of wine from people's frolicking. Well, oh, this is the well well crafted walkway mm. oh yes oh I have that look at that foray for a romantic view little bench Bash Rock. It's got a lighthouse on the side of it, on the front side, front end of it. And as we were driving up last night, it got a lovely little bit of sign lighting. And it's got a dusting of, of, of white. And it's really characterful until you realise that it's uh, bird crap and it kind of loses a bit of its uh, allure. Can't quite see Lynn. Little quick 360. Look at that colour, look at that drama as well in the sky. You've got the rocks coming around to the, the harbour. Lovely mound, I think that's I'll put the name of that, I'm sure that's a historical monument, some lovely trees on the side. More rocks leading you back where we came from, lovely harbour, lovely few more islands. Island again, leading it back to where we started. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, got to uh, aim for more. A, a slightly longer, a slightly stronger breeze would be uh, absolutely lovely. But we have landed fairly well with the sky. The sun has. What, six? Yeah, the sun has officially risen, but you've got I'm spinning around like a, spin me right round. Got it right? Yeah, I mean, look at that. That is absolutely fucking awesome. Yeah, seeing something different is quite difficult. And as uh, Mark, who I'm with us, just mentioned, sometimes you don't, Exposures. Oh. Sometimes you can overthink trying to get a different composition. For the first trip, just go with the cliches. Go with your gut, don't overthink it because before you know it, the nice light on the sea where you want it to be will be gone. So first time, show the cliches. When you come again, try to be a bit different. But as I mentioned before, getting something different from this location, that specific location is extremely difficult. The field of view is quite narrow. Let's oh. oh. get facial, let me set facial tracking up on this. Yeah, as you can, as you can see, not a lot there from this side. The sky is special, epic, shall we say. Very enclosed harbour down there, harbour. 
and we're going to do some shorter exposures I think yeah you can see the uh, concrete base now so I shall sign up for there I'll see you and on see ya I wanna 